Hang Chae Yang, Ki Eun Jung. Our Hall, Ma Wei, comes from China Taipei. On target number two, representing Chinese Taipei. Lei Chen Ying, Peng Chen Ma, Tian Ya Ji, represent the champion of the match. Let's see what the judges say. 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 Korea shoots first, Chinese Taipei shoots second. So here we go, the gold medal match in the women's team recurve. The world number one team Korea go up against the world number two team Chinese Taipei. And they elected to shoot first as well. Three arrows from each team will take us to the halfway point. What a start. Well, an amazing start there from the Korean team, just dropping one point. 29 out of a possible 30. So we're going to have three arrows from Chinese Taipei now, and the pressure really on. She's able to open up with a really close nine, but obviously Korea confident they'd come out of the gate really fast, and that's why they elected to shoot first, put on the early pressure. Wow, wow, wow. They've matched them arrow for arrow. What accuracy. Korea absolutely blitzed their semi final 5 1 over China, but it was a tight one for Chinese Taipei over Germany, winning in a tiebreaker 5 4. Does that play a part? It could play a part. It might also just be an indication of how good the teams in the bronze medal match were. I mean, both these teams have made it this far without losing a single match, and so it'll come down to who's the best of the best. Well, a bit of an adjustment there, perhaps. Uh, the, that uh, penultimate arrow going on all the high. Yeah, arrows four and five went a bit higher, but the current Olympic champion able to hit the ten every time. So it will be interesting to see if it's the archer or not. Oh, superb. And I'll tell you what, the groupings of the Chinese Taipei uh, athletes' arrows, very tight. Another one that's gone high. Maybe there's a there's a bit of an uplift somewhere out over the water. Well, another ten and uh, a brilliant start for the Koreans, but. Chinese Taipei absolutely matched them and then overtook them in the second half of the set and they pick up the first two points. Ryan, great start from the world number two. It's a fantastic match for Chinese right now and at this point, looking at the Falcon Eye, you can see just how tight their groups were. Korea's got a couple that have gone high and 
in Taipei. They've put them all really close to the middle, so it'll be very interesting to see how this goes on. Yeah, we talked about this. So the yellow uh, dots are the Korean arrows. The red ones are the Chinese Taipei ones. And you know, as we said, that grouping in the middle, just the one up to the left, a bit of blustery wind, perhaps. Could be a bit of wind. It could be a thermal off the water. I mean, it's really interesting to see the, the wind direction changing. And uh, here are some of those super shots from uh, Chinese Taipei. Look how close to the center they are. Chinese Taipei shoots second. Range clear. So here we go. Second end of the gold medal match here in Shanghai. The trailing team and the world number one at Korea will shoot first. They chose to shoot first in the first set. This time, they're forced to shoot first. Oh. Well, not a bad start. How crucial is, is a good start to this second set for the Koreans? Perhaps for their own personal confidence, it's very important that they win this set, and, and that way they won't be able to get too outside of themselves worrying about the, the result. Oh. Both shots so, so close. Yeah, if you touch the line uh, of the rings on the face of the target, you will get the higher score, but those two just outside the 10 ring. My assumption is that she may be aimed off taking the other arrows into account, but the wind may have changed in the meantime. All these tiny little adjustments, so crucial. So that's the first three from Korea. Okay, ten. <laughs> Obviously, Sorry. whatever the coach pointed out to their archers in, in between the sets has really it's paid off, and the Chinese yeah. pay team has come back really well shooting a ten. Okay. 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 So just adjusting there, a uh, little one to the right, uh, looking down the range, 70 meters they shoot across. How tough is that ride? Actually, to be able just to hit the target, you have to hold your arm within one degree of motion just to be able to score. They're probably looking for two more tens here, really. Yeah, it looks like they're going to need it, and uh, Chinese Taipei have come out against the world number one team, and they mean business. Korea have all the pressure on them right now. There's another 10 again. Both those archers, even their nines, weren't far out, and so they have a chance to be able to still have this set. Big pressure on this final arrow for Korea in set two. Oh. I might just be
medal at stake, but you wouldn't know it from the first archer there, shooting a 10 as though she's just out. Having a, a game with her friends. They are the world number one, and so this is where they're trying to prove that they do still have the match and they can still have control. Beautiful. I mean, there you go, 10-10, and now the Olympic champion shooting, and, and she's done well so far. Well, if ever you needed a perfect start to a set, this is it, and Korea have done it. 30 points from the 30 available in the first half of their arrows. What can Chinese Taipei do? Maybe a nine, but it's still really close to that ten ring. Well, sometimes the pressure of going second and having to match up to a perfect score will make you just drift off a little bit. But a great adjustment there from the third archer from Chinese Taipei to pull off a 10, trailing by three halfway through the third set. And that's where communication comes in. She may have fed off what the other archers told her and was able to adjust accordingly. Four tens in a row. They are the world number one after all. And under all that pressure as well, it's amazing. At four nil down, you know, on the brink potentially of going out in this set, now they're bringing their A game. Oh, that's terrible. That's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the grouping there. I mean, it's just phenomenal. We just saw that shot of the apple. That's what they're hitting. That, just that small ring there in the middle. Incredible. If she can hit the apple again, they win the set. Well, that'll do. She has taken them to uh, more than 30 points into the lead. So it's definitely two points for Korea in this set. Look, when you're in this situation, I mean, you, you've got an Olympic medal in, 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 in the men's team at 2016 uh, Olympic Games. Are you just shooting to sort of keep your keep your eye in? You got a few options here. You don't have to shoot, but you could choose to shoot, and so this way they might be able to adjust and have confidence into the next round that they're still able to shoot well, or perhaps learning what the weather's doing. So as you can see, her two arrows are both quite high. Well, they're not mucking around, are they? They're just. Uh, Getting these ones out. So there you have it. Uh, two points for Korea. And they did need that. Uh, anything from uh, Chinese Taipei in that set would have uh, spelt the end for Korea in this gold medal match. So we often talk about momentum in sport and uh, the Koreans were trailing by four points but they came into that set and went 10 10 10 10 and the momentum's definitely shifted it's definitely in their favor so it'll be interesting to see how Ty chinese taipei can respond and and if they can and if korea can hold on and keep charging forward well smiles on their faces very relaxed yeah exactly and, and he's you can see the coach is talking but we can't hear him at the moment and he might just be telling him to keep their composure and go on
Range is clear. Career to shoot first again. That looked, it's on the line, but it's called a nine, so we'll see what happens. And there is obviously a little bit of wind variance down there. Yeah, we saw it yesterday. Wind changing a little bit throughout the day. Well, there you go, a bit of correction, and that's in the 10. The other, the other thing here uh, is the humidity, and it's actually more humid today than it was yesterday. Does that play a factor? That can really play a factor, and it would probably do more to the Koreans than the Chinese Taipei team, given that in their country it is quite humid as well. The Chinese Taipei team perhaps more used to these conditions, which uh, saw them getting off to a better start, perhaps. That could be it, and this might actually be considered a dry day for them. Well, a 28 to beat, uh, scoring with an 8 there. It's <laughs> a bit better. Well, I talked about momentum. I mean, do, do you really feel that in team matches? Can you feel it within a set? I'm not really sure if you can feel it, but it definitely is a thing that happens, and so you really do notice the momentum can swing quite a lot. Well, it's shifted here. Uh, Korea have a two-point advantage after the, uh, the halfway stage of the fourth set. Well, a 29 will win it for the second three arrows. Exactly, and then that will force a shoot-off, which will be really exciting for a gold medal match between the number one and number two teams. You read my mind, Ryan. Well, will they go for a measure on that one? They might measure the first one from Korea, and hopefully the Chang here can shoot a 10 and put the pressure back on Chinese Taipei. And there's that 10. Yeah, the 10 uh, really has put the pressure on. Now Chinese Taipei need 29 just to draw level. There's the 9, and two 10s here will actually win the whole match. Yeah, a draw will be enough for Chinese Taipei. Well, there's the first one. Ten to win the match, nine, and they have to have a shoot-off. Well, what pressure on this young lady here. You can see that they shoot a lot quicker than Korea, and she has time. And she's got the nine. So, four apiece, a draw here after four sets. Exactly, and so here we'll have a shoot-off where each team will shoot three arrows. It'll be the highest score, and if they have the same score, whoever had the single closest arrow. Well, there we go. One arrow apiece. So each team, I believe Korea will shoot first because they elected to shoot first at the start. Right. So they'll open up and put on the pressure. Korea will shoot one, Chinese Taipei will shoot one, until each archer has shot one arrow. So it's kind of like half a set, except they do take it in turns rather than shooting all three as a group. Well, they're just doing a count back, as you can hear in the background. And here we've got the Chinese Taipei uh, arrows from the all four sets. You not see, bad. It's not bad, but you can see, particularly in the last ones, but overall they're going a little bit higher. They've not had a single arrow go low. And we'll see how that plays in the shoot-off. So we've had four sets here in the women's gold medal match between the world number one, Korea, and the world number two, Chinese Taipei. We couldn't separate them. 
Chinese Taipei, in fact, took a four-point lead after two sets, but Korea showed while they're world number ones, drawing level at four apiece. So we go in to a three-arrow per team shoot-off. And you can see they're putting up a brand new target so they can truly measure who will be the closest to the middle. Well, we saw smiles halfway through from the Korean team. We're seeing smiles here. Seems to me that when they look like they're enjoying themselves, they're shooting better. Range clear. Well, it's a huge crowd here in Pudong. It's a national holiday here, and they've all come out to watch some high-class archery. We're down to six arrows for the women's team recurve gold. Korea to shoot first. Ooh. It's quite interesting seeing them open with an eight. I mean, both teams started the match with 29, but starting the shoot off with an eight is a bit costly. Well, the pressure of a tiebreaker. And a nine, not too bad. Getting an early lead. But I mean, you really feel the tension here. There's only four more arrows here. This is for the gold medal of the first stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. So important. She's come back with a nine, and it may not be enough at this point. Chinese Taipei may have found their footing again. Well, momentum shifted from Chinese Taipei to Korea. Has it gone back towards the world number two team? And I think it may have. I mean, they're just nines, but they're so close to the ten that that shows they're shooting well. The well. Korean champion here. Have to shoot 10, probably. It certainly needs to get inside the inner ring. Interesting point here. If Chinese Taipei shoots a 9, they tie on score. However, Korea has the 10, so they do need to shoot a 10 and a better 10. So again, the momentum has shifted all the pressure on this final hour of the gold medal match. Oh, it has gone into the 9. They have tied up on score, but subject to confirmation, the Korean team, whose smiles reappeared after the third set, shot through with more joy and more pleasure than they had done earlier on, and they've stolen the gold medal. Exactly. I mean, the Chinese Taipei team, they were still going high after the last two sets, but Korea looked really happy with that, and perhaps they'll learn to, be, to have more fun at the next event, and that might help them. Superb stuff here. A tiebreaker to settle the women's team recurve gold medal match. And Korea have snatched it from Chinese Taipei. Uh, clearly a happy bunch there. Ryan, we talked about momentum. They really, it really did switch one way and, and another. It really was. That was an interesting match. Chinese Taipei started really strong, putting every arrow in the middle, and, and then they started to drift upwards on the target. Maybe they felt more relaxed or they felt a bit more tension the closer they got to the gold medal. Well, we're getting some brilliant shots, uh, our highlights of uh, the Koreans' arrows. And look at that grouping there. Fabulous. That was at that moment where they knew they had to put the hammer down and, and put some pressure on. Well, some shots from uh, the team from Chinese Taipei, ta Taipei, and they really did shoot very well, but were a bit pipped at the post. So confirmation there of the uh, recurve women's team, Korea taking the gold, Chinese Taipei with the silver, and China, the host nation, in front of a massive partisan crowd picking up the bronze medal. I'm sure they'll feel an extra sense of pride being able to do it in front of their home nation as well. Quite agree, and look at that fantastic skyline there. And there is that home crowd. 
having fun, being entertained. So uh, we've had the women's team match, or matches, the bronze and the gold, and coming up uh, very, very shortly will be uh, the men's recurve team, and the bronze medal match will start us off there, followed by the gold medal match. But first up, we will have the medal ceremony for uh, the women's team recurve. Uh, they just take a little while to set up the stage here, but not too long if uh, yesterday's anything to go by. But after that, we will have uh, China versus Germany and Korea versus Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the recurve women team. Medals were represented by Pudong New Area Deputy Administrative Chief Li Guohua. Trophies were represented by Pudong New Area Sports Deputy Director General Zhang Wei. Medals Bronze medal representing China. An Qixuan. Cao Hui. Qi Yuhong. Silver medal representing Chinese Taipei. Lei Chen Ying. Hong Chen Ma. Chen Ya Qi. Gold medal representing Republic of Korea. Zhang Heixin. Tang Chengyang. Li Eunjung Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the National Anthem of Republic of Korea.
女士们、先生们，向我们的运动员献上最热情的掌声。Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause to our athletes. Fantastic women's women's team medal ceremony complete. And today's all about recurve, which is the Olympic archery discipline. Came back into the Olympics in 1972 and has featured at every single games. But we sent Ryan off to look into the traditional roots.